Good day everyone. In this section, we will talk about the information age. Okay, so this section traces the development of the information uh, the development of the information age and it discusses its impact on the society. It tackles the various ways the information age and social media have influenced the social uh, the society and human lives. So these are the objectives of this lesson. At the end of this section, the students should be able to link learning concepts to the development of the information age and its impact on society. It also illustrates how the social media and the information how the social media and the information age have impacted our lives and it identified the advantages and disadvantages of social media and it described the importance of social media in the field of education. Okay. So let's talk about the information age. So uh, Johannes Gutenberg, so this is Johannes Gutenberg. So uh, Johannes Gutenberg is a German goldsmith invented the printing press invented the printing press around 1440. So this invention was a result of finding a way to improve the manual use and slow printing method. So by this invention, it, it improved the manual slow printing methods by that printing press. So printing press, it is a device to an ink surface lying on a print medium such as cloth or paper or to transfer ink. So this is the Gutenberg press. So ito yung Gutenberg press natin. And Gutenberg's hand mode printing press led to the creation of a metal movable type. So later, these two inventions were combined to make printing methods faster. So these two, the printing press and then the, the, the Gutenberg's hand mode printing press uh, combined were combined to make printing methods faster. And they drastically introduced or they drastically reduced the cost of printing documents. So the beginning of mass communication and uh, can be traced back to the invention of the printing press. So the development of uh, the development of a fast and easy way of disseminating information in the print permanently reform the structure of the society. So it it the development of that printing press. Uh, improve the way of disseminating information. So, the political and religious authorities who took pride in being learned were threatened, were also threatened by the by this uh, development, by the sudden rise of literacy among people. So, dahil nga doon sa printing press na yan, yung political and religious authorities were threatened. They were threatened. With the rise of the printing press, the printing revolution um, occurred which illustrated the tremendous social change brought by the wide circulation of information. So the printing press made the mass production of books possible which made books accessible not only to the upper class. So as years progressed, circulation of uh, calculations rather became involved in the communication due to the rapid developments in the trade sector okay so let's talk about alan turing so alan turing is an english mathematician so this is alan turing he was an english mathematician was hired in 1936 by the british top secret government code and super school at bletchley park to break the enigma code so what do we mean by enigma so enigma it was an enciphering machine that the german armed force uses to securely send messages so by this by this 
machine it was used by the by the armed forces to secure their messages para yung mga pinapadalang message is naka-secure talaga siya and during uh, working on the side of Alice he he was also invented the bomb it is an electromechanical machine that enabled the British to decipher encrypted messages of the German Enigma machine. So, the contribution of Turing along with the other cryptologists shortened the war by two years. So, because of this, uh, because of this development, the war was being shortened. So, in 1937, um, Turing presented a theoretical machine called the Turing machine that can solve any problem from simple instructions encoded on a paper tape. So, um, he also demonstrated the simulation of the Turing machine to construct a single universal machine. So, this became, um, this became the foundation of computer science. So, ito yung nag nagbigay daan para ma mapatayo yung foundation science, yung computer science, and the invention of a machine later called a computer that can solve any problem by performing any task from a written program. So in 1970, the the generations who witnessed the dawn. The generation who witnessed the dawn of the computer age was described as the generation with electronic brains. So the people of this generation were the first to be introduced to personal computers. So because of that, uh, yung mga tao dyan sa generation na yan, sila yung nag-first introduce ng personal computers. So back then, meron tayong tinatawag na computer club. This is what we call the home blue computer club. So, it is an early computer hobbyist group gathered regularly to trade parts. So, sila yung nag, um, regularly nagtitipon-tipon sila para mag-ipon ng mga trade parts of the computer hardware and talk about how to make computers more accessible to everyone. So, many members of that club ended up a big, uh, ended up being high-profile entrepreneurs. So, they are already rich. Mayayama na sila, including the founders of the Apple Incorporated. And sino yung founder ng Apple Incorporated? So in 1976, Steve Wozniak was the co-founder of Apple Incorporated. So he developed the computer that made him famous Apple in Apple One. So yun tinawag nila. So this is Apple. Uh, this is Steve Wozniak and this is Paul Allen. So si Paul Allen, um, he he was the co-founder of Paul Allen was the co-founder of Microsoft and Steve Wozniak was the co-founder of Apple Incorporated. So ito yung Apple One na na dinevelop ni ni Steve Wozniak. So Steve Jobs, so it was Steve Jobs, Wozniak's friend suggested to sell the Apple One as a fully assembled printed circuit board. So this jump started their career as founders of Apple Incorporated. So dalawa na yung naging founders ng Apple Incorporated, which are sina Steve Wozniak and then si Steve Jobs. So in 1973. Onwards, the social media platforms were introduced from variations of multi-user chat rooms, instant messaging applications, and these are the AOL Instant Messenger. So, ito yung mga example ng mga, ng mga um, uh, applications, instant messaging, and multi-user chat rooms. We have the Yahoo Messenger. Sila yung pinakaunang um, social media platforms uh, with the uh, social media pro, uh, platforms applications. So first is si the Yahoo Messenger, kung naabutan nyo pa yung Yahoo Messenger, AOL Instant Messenger, the MSN Messenger, and we have the 
Windows Messenger. So these are the social media platforms that the uh, users nila is e chat rooms that, and instant messaging applications. So for the bulletin board forum systems, game-based social networking, these are the social platforms. We have the Facebook, Friendster dati kung naabutan niyo pang Friendster, and then the MySpace.com. So these are the, yung gamit nila is bulletin board forum system, game-based social networking. So sa MySpace, meron dyan mga, um, mga laro. Sa Facebook, meron din sa Messenger, Friendster. And for the business-oriented social networking website is ang tinatawag nating SIM. So ito yung ito yung logo ng SIM. So it can uh, this uh, social media platforms it uses in business-oriented uh, social networking websites. And for messaging, video, and voice calling services, meron tayong Viber, meron din tayong Skype. So for messaging and video and voice calling services, we can use this. So, mas nauna pa sila kaysa sa mga messenger. Kasi ngayon, yung messenger, um, yun na yung ginagamit natin for video calls, messaging, calls, and so on. And for blogging platform, so sa blogging platform, image, and video hosting websites, meron tayong Flickr na tinatawag. So, kung, kung if you want to uh, look for this application, for the page, just type Flickr.com. Makikita nyo kung ano yung itsura ng Flickr doon. And for discovery and dating-oriented website, meron din tayong mga website na tagged and Tinder. So dito, kung gusto nyo maghanap ng mga kadate, pwede nyo itong puntahan. And ngayon nga, sa Facebook, meron tayong tinatawag na dating app. So pwede natin siyang ilagay. Pero ito yung mga nauna, yung mga ginagamit dati. Tag and Tinder. So, for video sharing services, yung YouTube, hanggang ngayon, ginagamit pa rin natin to. And for real-time social media feed aggregator is the friend feed. So, live streaming, we have the Justin TV and then the Twitch TV. For question and answer platforms, pwede natin gamitin yung Cora. At meron pang ibang mga, mga social media platforms ang pwede natin magamit. So, for photo video sharing websites, meron tayong Pinterest, Instagram, Snapchat, Kik. You can check kung ano yung mga, yung mga nandoon sa Kik. And we have the Vine. So, they use for photo video sharing websites. Okay, so, those are some... Um, those are some social media platforms that can be used in different uses. So, the information age, which progressed from the invention of the printing press to the development of numerous social media platforms. So, from printing press hanggang sa meron na tayong mga iba't ibang platforms na ginagamit, has, influ has actually immensely influenced the lives of the people. So, especially yung Instagram, yung Facebook, yung Snapchat, and so on. So, the, the impact of these innovations can be advantageous or disadvantageous depending on the use of these technologies. So, sabi ko nga, it can be advantageous and then it can be disadvantageous. It depends on how are you going to use that social media platforms that I presented. Okay. So, let's now go to, uh, let's now talk about the social media. So, among the benefits derived from science and technology are the advancement of, um, of are the advancement in the field of communication. So, the information age has heavily, heavily influenced the way people connect with each other because of that information age. It, it influenced the way how people communicate with each other. So, the most prominent technological advancement of the new millennium is the rise of social media. Halata naman sa panahon ngayon that it was the most prominent technological advancement is the social media. So, social media 
uh, social media websites and applications are designed to facilitate the creation and exchange of information in a virtual space. So, from halimbawa nasa malayong lugar siya, uh, pwede mong i-video call then you can exchange information via that. So, gaya-gaya ng ginagawa natin, um, like for example, the online class, so we can, kahit na walang face-to-face -face na interaction, at least we can exchange information via, via Google Classroom, via Google Meet. So, through social media, people can easily access any type of information they need and want through the different gadgets at their disposal. So, may, lahat tayo meron ng cellphone, alam ko, because we can easily access any type of information that na binibigay sa atin. Timbawa, isang chat mo lang, pag nasin niya yun, di alam mo na kung anong ibig sabihin nun. Then, alam mo na kung ano yung, yung gustong ipahiwatig sa'yo ng nag... Ng, nang magsisend sa'yo ng message. Kahit na isang nasa malayong lugar ka, basta may messenger ka, you can chat the person. So, the essence of social media in the context of being a space where and through which information can be spread and shared can be traced to early technologies that made information sharing possible. So, it can also be accessed through computers or mobile phones. So, you, the rise of social media was seen in the popular, popularization of Friendster in 2002. So, yun, noong 2002, nabuo yung Friendster. 2003, we have the MySpace.com. And then, 2004 and onwards, we have the Facebook. So, Facebook... Uh, Facebook was uh, one. It remains one of the one of the main social media outlets as of now, alongside such as the Twitter, the Instagram, and then the Snapchat. So, ito yung Facebook. Siya talaga yung pinaka um, um, main social media outlets for today. Yung Facebook. Siguro. Um, kahit na yung mga parents natin meron na silang mga Facebook account because they want to uh, pwede, uh, gusto rin nilang makisabay sa atin and kaso nga sabi ko kanina that uh, with the use of the social media platforms it can be advantageous and then it can be disadvantageous then malalaman natin yan throughout our discussion so the ever increasing presence of social media is clearly felt in the society. So social media social media has influenced almost every aspect of society with even institutions and government organizations using different social media platforms for various purposes. So they use some social media platforms for different purposes like for example the teachers they use Google Cla uh, Google Meet for to deliver information to deliver how uh, to deliver their lesson and some government organizations they use also um, other platforms para mag-deliver ng um, information so, and the main purpose of the social media platforms is to communicate with each other para makipag-communicate tayo sa kung sino man yung gusto nating uh, kausapin. Hindi na tayo pupunta doon sa malayong lugar. With the help of the social media platforms, we can we can actually uh, deliver our message from them to them. So social media currently play a large role in the advertis advertising industry. So um, social media is a tool that advertises advertisers uh, used to promote brands and products so with the help of that uh, with the help of this social media they can advertise their products so, say for example yung mga nag online selling so with the use of the social media platforms they can uh, use it by online selling Tama? So, il 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 ilagay mo lang yung product mo, then a uh, konting advertisement about the product, then papatok at papatok yun sa'yo. Because kung dapat, kung ano yung hinihingi, hinihingi ng mga customer, then yun yung ibigay natin. So, with the help of social media. 
may, minsan nga may mga may mga pamilya tayo na nasa malayong lugar na matagal na nating hindi nakikita and because of the social media na meron tayo ngayon pwede natin makommunicate yung mga taong malalayo sa atin so in advertising industry it can also be used to gain more information about their target cons consumers because uh, these platforms allow people to divulge basic personal information such as the name, age, gender, location, likes and dislikes of that person. So yung mga advertisers, they can use uh, they can use the pieces of information to their advan to their advantage in creating targeted and uh, targeted advertising materials for the products that they are promoting so because of the social media you can use different um, different materials para doon sa product mo para mas ma maingganyo pa yung mga consumers na uh, yung mga bibili sa iyo so social media can also help people engage in political matters so through facebook People can form groups or put up pages that advocate particular causes. So, mer pwede yung mga tao ngayon gumagawa na ng sariling uh, Facebook page nila para doon nila i-advocate kung ano man yung gusto nila sabihin sa mga tao. So, as Facebook users, they allow to become part of a group or page that further a particular cause. So say for example, meron, di ba meron tayong Facebook group? So before ka maka-enter sa Facebook group, dapat you need to ask them questions bago mo i-approve. Kaya baga, meron akong nilalagay doon sa Facebook group natin, meron akong nilagay ng mga questions so that I can easily uh, approve you. So they they people get to know more about such as cause and are able to show their support for it. So social media social media in general makes political engagement easier because posting such as online requires little effort. So yung gamit ng social media it is uh, the use of social media tool is a tool for increased political engagement and it can also be helpful for us, particularly for the youth sa mga kabataan ngayon. So, over the years, maraming mga scholars have documented the declining trend in political engagement among the youth. The advent of social media has helped address this problem because um, these platforms provide young adults a newer and more dynamic outlet more dynamic outlet for expressing the their political beliefs and interests. So, access social media has also allowed many of its users to enter or create virtual worlds where they can express themselves freely. So, they can also express themselves freely as well as share experiences which with each other with similar interests. So, because of the social media, say for example, ngaya my quotes na makakapag-inspire sa mga tao, you can share it and someone na makakita noon, ah, na-experience ko yung, yung ganito. So, with that, with that um, na-shinare mo, is nakagaan pa sa, sa mga nang babasa. So, sabi ko nga that, if kung maganda yung paggamit mo sa isang social media platforms, then it will lead you also. It can be advantageous for you. Pero kung hindi, kung hindi ka marunong gumamit ng mga social media platforms na alam mo, then hindi natin alam na nakakasama na pala yun sa iyo. So, social media is ultimate use as a means of le for leisure and most users use it to connect with their family, friends, and loved ones. So, fam family, friends, and loved ones. So, sabi ko kanina na kahit na nasa malayong lugar ang pamilya nyo, mga kaibigan nyo, with the help of the social media platforms, you can um, communicate with them. So, media, media platforms have also made it possible for people to do 
both complex and simple tasks. That is from calculating their taxes to making dinner reservations. So kung gusto mo ngayon magkaroon ng dinner reservation, just uh, look for their page and mag and uh, kung ano man yung offer nila, then you can actually ask for them. So pwede yun. So, so social media has also allowed people to express their opinions on virtually anything for other people to read. So, pero uh, not all the time na lahat ng sinasabi mo is, I mean, lahat ng problema mo is idadaan natin sa social media. So, yun na yung papasok doon yung disadvantage ng social media. Kasi lahat na lang, lahat na lang ng tungkol sa'yo is sinasabi mo doon sa social media para ano, para maging sikat. So, so we need to use those social media platforms in a good way. So, sa magandang paraan, dapat natin ginagamit yung mga, especially yung mga media platforms, especially yung paggamit natin ng Facebook. So, the easy access to social media also presents its own risk. So, one primary problem encountered by many social media users is the, us is the issue of privacy and identity theft. So, uh, lately lang, yung mga kumakalat na nahack yung Facebook account nila, magsisend ng video, and kapag clinic mo yun, is mahahack na yung account mo. Then, nandoon ka na, minsan nga, nakatag ka pa. So, beware of that incident. So, we need to be careful, we need to read first kung sino yung mga nagtatag sa atin. Huwag natin basta-basta i-open yung link, kasi hindi natin alam na yung privacy pala natin is kinukuha na nila. So, yan yung mga tinatawag natin na mga hacker. So, we, we just need to be careful. So, kapag alam natin na may nakalagin na sa account natin, then change password agad-agad. So, we need to change our pas password para maprotektahan yung privacy natin. And para maiwasan na yung pag-hack ng mga social media account natin. So, yun yung sinasabi ko na merong advantages and disadvantages. So, kung lahat ng mga ino-open natin, makakita ka lang ng kung anong ganyan, i-open mo na agad. So, you need to be careful. Lalo na kung hindi natin kilala yung nag, um, nag-tag sa atin. So, kilangan natin i-block na agad-agad yung uh, i-block or i-report natin yung mga ganyang incident. For you to be able to to protect your privacy also and para ma-recover natin yung social media account ninyo. So, cyberbullying cyber is also an issue associated with social media. So, cyberbullying. Uh, cyber so, according to National Crime Victimization Survey, it is estimated that 22 million students in America, so imagine, 22 million students in America experience some form of cyber bully, bullying each year. So every year, may, na, may nakaka-experience ng cyberbullying sa America. So among the teenagers who engage in online or cyber dating, 6% 6% that they, they were being sent threatening messages. So, 6% of those um, students or teenagers, they were being sent threatening messages. So, yung mga, yung mga natitreten ng, na nakakatanggap kayo ng mga threatening messages. So, you need to report, report that. Huwag tayong matako. So, in addition, 6% to 8% reported being pressured to send sexual photos or engage in sex sexual acts. So, ito yung sinasabi natin na we need to be careful. Halimbawa, may magchat-chat sa'yo na hindi mo kilala, then do not, uh, do not engage with that people. Huwag kang makipag-usap din sa kanya. Kasi sometimes baka habang tumatagal is napepressure habang tumatagal is pinipressure ka na pala niya ititreaten ka na pala niya na mag-send ka ng ganito kung ano yung gustong gustong ipasend sa iyo ng ng mga ng magchat sa iyo for example so dapat we need to be careful and we need to be strong din sa mga ganyang bagay so kung alam mo na ganun magsumbong ka sa parents or magsumbong ka sa kahit na sino para uh, maiwasan natin yung mga ganyang insidente so yun. So be careful be careful of that cyberbullying kasi maraming maraming um nadidepress because of that cyberbullying. So social media also has effects on the way a society establishes its norms and ideologies. 
ideologies. So social media is often uh, often chosen as a tool for asserting social norms as the platform thrives in social participation. So this characteristic of social media can promote the glorification of particular social classes as well as the marginalization and misinterpretation, misrepresentation rather, of people in terms of yung mga gender nila, yung race nila, kung saan sila galing, and yung class nila. Okay, so now let's move on to the social media in education. So social media in education, the classroom acts as a both as both a venue and avenue for teachers and students to interact. So social media is used to further connect and enhance the interactions between teachers and students both in and out of the classroom. So because uh, with the use of the social media, they connect, teacher and students can connect each other and they interact between, uh, they interact out uh, both in and out of the classroom because of the social media. Eh, kaya lang ngayong panahon na, na to, since we do not have a face-to-face -face class, so um, more on virtual lang yung, uh, yung connection ng students and then the teachers. So teachers can also uh, send instructions on assignments, quizzes, and also, students can con communicate with teachers outside the classroom and seek help from fellow classmates. So, you can ask for your classmates, you can ask for your teachers be, uh, with the help of these social media platforms. So, however, um, there are also issues that may arise from the use of social media in the school setup, such as you know, cyberbullying again distancing of students from the real world and decreased amount of time spent on face-to-face -face communica communication. So, more on cell phone na lang, more on gadgets na lang yung hawak natin, then more on laptops na lang yung hawak natin, nakatutok na lang tayo palagi sa social media. And sometimes, wala na tayong time with our family. And sometimes, um, the uh, decrease na yung amount natin in the face-to-face -face interactions, communications. So with this stand, uh, distancing of students from the real world, hindi nila ma-experience ng hindi, hindi, hindi nila ma-experience yung face-to-face -face na klase, especially yung mga bago pa lang sa paglase na na naunahan ng yung pandemic na to. So there are uh, why is social media is important in education? So there are advantages and disadvantages in the use of social media in education. So these are the advantages of social media in education. The first one, social media enhances students' collaboration and interaction. So kung dati hindi ka marunong sa ganito, ganyan, ganyan, so, you as a student, you can also enhance um, with the help of your classmate, with the help of your teachers, to collaborate and interact with your classmate. Okay? So, students who have classes that require them to, to utilize social media enable them to gain more insights on their topic or lesson. So, for example, meron kang mga, mga kailangan i-research with the help of social media platforms, you can uh, actually, um, you can easily research about the topic. So, for example, if the student is having difficulty solving in chemistry problem, aside from the online resources to learn more on how to solve the problem, he or she may post questions in social networking site group to seek help for peers in understanding specific aspect of the problem. So, for example, um, kapag halimbawa hindi mo alam yung isang problem, i-type mo lang siya sa, sa isang social media platforms, then marami, da, marami na doong sasagot sa'yo. Then you can ask for help, i-type mo lang yung questions, then may magko-comment at magko-comment dyan kung paano mo gagawin yung isang problem, paano mo masusolusyonan yung isang problem. 
The next one is social media allows information sharing. So one of the advantages of social media and education, it allows information sharing. So um, the positive effects, uh, I mean, social media, um, according to to elementary students in Lahore City, they found that those who use social media to work on their assignments accomplished their homework more effortlessly because of the ease of finding information insights and attain better marks compared to their peers who are non-social media users. Kaya lang, when you are going to to copy answers or when you are going to research answers for that specific problem, you need to to fire a place para hindi tayo maka, maka, makasuhan ng plagiarism. Kasi yung mga students ngayon, hindi man lang ine-edit kung ano yung sinasabi ng sagot. For example, yung Google. Isa-type is mo lang yung questions and maraming sagot doon. So, you need to be careful pa rin. Kasi baka uh, makasuhan tayo ng plagiarism. So, kailangan natin... Um, pwede tayong humingi ng tulong sa mga sa Google, pero you need to... Um, this, uh, you need to uh, ask, I mean, you need to have the link or dapat meron tayong mga reference pa rin na nilalagay. Hindi, hindi yun na aangkinin natin yung sagot ng iba, aangkinin natin kung ano yung sinabi ng isa, then sa atin na yun, hindi pwede. Kasi minsan nadedetect po yun. And remember na meron din tayong uh, social media platforms on how to to detect if your answer is sa'yo, sa'yo ba yung galing, or sa iba. Okay. So, the positive effects of uh, of the use of Facebook Facebook in higher education were also documented in study conducted by uh, Muhanji. So, they found, the major, uh, they found that the majority of the students who participated in the survey were aided by Facebook blog to get information they needed so because of the because of this we can actually sh uh, share sharing of information halimbawa magkakaroon ka ng survey halimbawa mag magkakanda ka ng isang research then since sa panahon na yun is we are not we are not advised to go out and conduct research for our research project we we are not advised to to gather information so, ang ginagawa ngayon is through Facebook, through email, they they can actually gather information with the help of that. So, is send lang nila yung survey, then i ibabalik sa kanila, then by the use of social media, they can actually gather information. Okay? So, kaya lang yung may mga may mga iba rin na respondents na hindi rin gumagamit ng social media. Yun yung kailangan natin alamin. Kung paano natin, halimbawa, paano ka mag-gather ng information uh, without the social media. Di ba? Mahirap. So, very advantage talaga yung social media when it comes to research. Kasi kahit na hindi ka lumabas, isan mo lang yung survey na yun and isan back sa'yo yung survey, then at least meron ka nang nag-gather ng information na hindi ka lumalabas. So, yun yung isang uh, advantages ng social media sa uh, education. So, it allows information sharing. So, social media expands student-teacher interaction. So, with the increasing of social... Of, of, with the increasing use of social media use, among many of, of today's students, teachers have begun to find ways to utilize social media platforms in their mode of inst instruction. So as you can see, um, some teachers uh, uses, if they want to, to interact with you, they use Google Meet, they use Google Class, they use Facebook Group, they use Messengers. So with the use of that, uh, social media platforms, you can actually uh, nakikipag-interact na sa mga students. So yung uh, teacher use, teachers use and maximize the flexibility of social media and make it an educational tool while using it as a medium to reach out to students. Okay. So, yun. 
So it can it expands student teacher interaction. Next is social media improves students communication. So communication skills and decreases barriers for self expression. So it improves students communication skills and decreases barriers for self expression. So social media as a tool for facilitating communication could also be a powerful means through which information and communication needs of students could be addressed. So with the help of this, students could help, uh, it could help keep students engaged. So forming study group using social groups allow students to interact more. Say for example, yung mga sa messenger because they they can create um, group chats so with the help of that group chat group chats they can actually express themselves ko uta magtatanong siya sa klase niya for example then may sasagot then actually they actually improve students communication skills and na express talaga nila kung ano yung gusto nilang itanong so it it help students engage in that uh, in that way of learning so it also create a public profile showcasing one's research interest opens connection with a broader audience so yun so these are the the four advantages of social media in education so we have the social media it enhances student collaboration and interaction it allows information sharing it expands student teacher in interaction uh, it improves students communication skills and it decreases barriers for self-expression so kung meron tayong advantages ng social media meron din tayong mga disadvantages ng social media so, social media reduces face-to-face -face communication. So, the, the use of social media in education can, reduce, can result in decreasing face-to-face -face communication and interaction. So, while students who find it difficult to express themselves can find a safe space to do so online. Educational, educators are concerned that they may miss valuable lessons in real life social skills so yung mga education educators they they miss some experiences na na kailangan na, na may experience sana nila kapag meron face to face communication kaso uh, hindi na nila yun may experience kasi nga meron na tayong more on focus na yung mga especially yung mga students sa social media so kumbaga more on cell phone na lang, gadgets na lang yung hawak nila. So, they they reduce face-to-face uh, -face communication they, and interaction. So, they miss valuable lessons in real life talaga. Yung mga experiences na, na pwede nating makuha sa kapag meron tayong face-to-face -face communication. So, the use of so social media could put students at a disadvantage in college admission, uh, college admission interviews, job interviews, or other similar, similar instances where they need to express themselves. Command attention, deliver coherent and consistent messages in person. So kung hindi natin kaya ma... kaya ma... masabi kung ano yung gusto nating sabihin sa isang tao, hindi natin siya ma, ma kung ang gusto natin is dapat sa person is hindi natin magawa so it reduces face to face communication such downside could further translate to difficulty in interacting and communicating with people in social gatherings so yun because meron nang ang social media so bakit pa tayo mag face to face communication so yun yung isang disadvantages ng social media because hindi natin alam kung ano yung kahalagahan ng magkakaroon ng face-to-face -face communication unlike na more on virtual na kita more on online na tayo so yun mas maganda pa rin na magkaroon ng face-to-face -face communication so mag, mag, mas maganda pa rin na magkaroon ng face-to-face -face na uh, say for example na 
na delivery of lessons. Yung nga sa paaralan talaga yung mga estudyante. The next one is social media can be used as a tool for bullying. So sabi ko kanina, meron tayong nabanggit na cyberbullying. So kahit na hindi natin sabihin na kahit na nag, nag oh, hindi natin sabihin na hindi yan bullying, pero pag nabasa yan ng ibang tao, so it's part of uh, cyberbullying na rin yun. So it can be used as a tool for bullying. So may mga tao, may mga estudyante na they they um, send mga malicious text messages or emails rumors sent by email or posted on social media networking sites and spreading of embarrassing pictures videos websites or fake profiles of the students so isa yun sa mga example ng mga uh, those are some examples of cyberbullying na mag magsisend ka ng mga malicious text messages or emails, um, mga rumors sent by your email, and mga posted in so social media networking sites, and spreading embarrassing pictures, videos, websites, or fake profile of students. So, halimbawa, magsisend ka ng mga, ng mga pictures, ina-edit mo yung pictures ng isang tao, then ipopost mo sa social media. That is one uh, uh, one way of cyberbullying. So, ibig sabihin, nagbubully ka na because of that social media uh, platforms. So, those are some examples of cyberbullying. Kaya, wag natin dapat, uh, kaya dapat gamitin natin ng tama yung social media. Let us use social media in a good way. Next one is the social media affects the ways students write. O, ito na rin. Uh, Kung baga, nagiging shortcut na lahat because of the social media, say for example, um, ni inaalis natin yung ilang letters, uh, pinapaikli natin yung mga letters when we are going to type kapag magsisend tayo ng mga messages. So, by that, it uh, affected yung pagsulat ng mga estudyante. So, it affects the ways the student Right. So the use of social media in the classroom can also result in negative learning outcomes on, on students' spelling and grammar competencies. So according to the dictionary.com, majority of the stu uh, majority of the teachers think that students who use social media um, students who use social media develop bad spelling and grammar habits. So according to dictionary.com. So the reason is that these platforms promote the use of short and quick statement as well as images as responses. For example, the social media platforms Twitter puts a 280 character limit on a user's ability to compose a tweet. So 280 lang na words yung kailangan. So this character limit lead users to a shorter attention span when it comes to reading and writing and the ability to write correct sentences. So, because of that, because of that social media platforms na Twitter, since 280 characters lang yung kailangan doon, so mas pinapaikli ng mga, ng mga gumagamit noon yung tweet nila. So, because of that, they, they develop bad spelling and grammar. So, yun yung pinaka main, uh, main reason kung bakit mayroon tayong disadvantages ng mga social media in education. So, these are the disadvantages of social media in education. So, we need to um, remember na yung advantages ng social media, it reduces face-to-face -face communication. It can be used as a tool for bullying. Yan yung palagi nating tandaan. And social media affects the ways students write. So, as a student, uh, as a student, we need to be careful kung ano man yung ginagawa natin sa social media. So, we need to be uh, to know the advantages and disadvantages before natin um, before tayo gumawa ng kung ano ano man sa mga different social media platforms. So, ano ba yung magiging epekto nito sa akin? Ano ba yung magiging epekto nito sa readers? And ano ba yung mag may magiging epekto nito sa pag-aaral ko? Is it helpful or 
Nath. Thank you and God bless.